So far we've talked about traversing a binary tree, adding to a tree, deleting from a tree, uh, but there's a few other things that it's important to know, especially if you're taking an algorithm class or uh, you're needing to create a good visualization for a search, and that's what binary trees are great for. And the very first thing we're going to do in this tutorial is go over what's called a pre-order traversal. And there's a few properties associated with it, and I'm going to walk through the way the process works on this sample binary tree right here. So the very first thing that you're going to do in a pre-order traversal is visit the root. So right here you can see that the root is 7. And so we're going to traverse a tree and actually put this into an array up here at the top. So for the array we're going to start off and we're going to say the first value we get is 7. Because we're traversing a tree in pre-order, the next step is actually to move to the left. So we would move to this one value right here and we'd put this one in the array. From there, we would go further down to the left and get that zero, put that in the array, and then we're just going to keep on going uh, down the list. So now we're going to come back up because zero doesn't have any children, it's a leaf node. So then we're going to come over to three, and so three is going to be the next value. And from there, we have two. and then back up to three and back down to five. And you can see this is pretty straightforward. It's more a process of understanding just how it works, but I'll still finish this one out just so you can see it. So from five, go down to four, and then go back up to five, and then go to six. And so we've completed the left side of the binary search tree. So now that we've done that, we traverse all the way back up, and then we go to that next value, which is going to be 9. So we'll go 7 to 9. So this is on the right subtree. And then from 9, we go down to 8, and then to 10. And that's it. So this is how you traverse a tree using the pre-order method when you're traversing a binary search tree. In the next video, we're going to go over what's called the post-order traversal. So I'll see you in that video.